So welcome to Lahti, Finland. We are at the home of Ken Power and what we are looking at today is the intelligent Ken Power charging field which is uh, built on a satellite post system which we see in the back. We are using here a dual charging satellite post which in this case enables as we see here a Chademo charging standard and a CCS2 charging standard as well. What we also can do is that we include two times CCS2 and what we see in the next charging satellite post is actually also AC charging. So we can basically combine all uh, standards we have in the market. Uh, the charging satellite post uh, is uh, a very robust Scandinavian design and it has also an intuitive 7 inch color touch screen and uh, what we also have added are LED lights indicating the charging status and also reflective striping which is basically a safety feature especially when you use these solutions outdoors. What I also would like to highlight in this case uh, is the very intuitive cable handling system which is spring supported and this enables a case which uh, in the most cases is impossible in this case we have the Tesla basically positioned wrong but in our case it doesn't matter because due to the spring support we can attach the charging cable to the car despite this fact what we also have added it's a feature of course which we don't see in this uh, heavy sunlight which is pretty rare in Finland but we also have LED lights mounted to the charging satellite post that then lights, lights the user interface and also the main functionalities uh, of the charging satellite post. Uh, if we think about the installation of the post itself we can do it in a very many several ways. In this case we have a concrete foundation to it but what we also can do is that we can attach it directly to concrete if we have it as a floor material or then we also can attach it directly to the wall so we have many different options how to install it and one of the main advantages of uh, such a charging satellite post is of course that we can have many several charging standards included and uh, in a shape where you most commonly see AC charging we now can have 25 kV DC charging up to 150 kV plus DC charging and please notice we are not using in that case a liquid cooled cable. Then if we uh, look at the rest of the field of course the main question is how you get the power to the charging satellite post themselves and there we use a centralized uh, uh, power unit which in this case is a 200 kV cabinet which then includes the camp power made power modules which are 50 kV each. Each module, we have four of them in that cabinet, each module is a two channel version where we have 25 kilowatts in each channel and if we now have the case where we have four charging satellite posts which are uh, dual satellites it means that we can run in 25 per plug and cable but of course we also can do it dynamically and then we can distribute the power uh, depending on the charging need of the cars that are attached to the system which can also be operated over the cloud and if we now have a look at the charging cabinet itself it's a very compact one uh, if we look at the floor print of the solution it's very compact and in this case we now have a 200 kV installed but we have the preparation for one additional uh, centralized power unit which then increases the power up to 400 kV which is pretty impressive and if we then have a look at what we have inside 
we see the Chem power power modules. These are manufactured and produced here in Finland, actually in the factory we see uh, in the back. And uh, something I also would like to highlight is, of course, that we have uh, ensured that the charging is operatable even if one of the modules fall off. So if something happens with one power module, the rest of, of the modules are still operatable and the only thing that happens in the charging satellite post field is basically that we get a slightly reduced charging power. And this is basically the core foundation of our charging satellite system. It's modular, it's scalable. And if we look at uh, somebody starting up operations, you can start with a CPU that is uh, having, let's say, one or two power modules, and you can start with one or two satellite posts. But the best part is that you can increase the amount of the equipment later on. So you don't have to kind of make an overkill system at the start. You can build it up according to the need. And as we all know, the amount of electric cars is uh, rising all the time. And in, in these terms, this is a very, very clever solution, how to build up an intuitive user-friendly uh, charging system. So we are back at the charging satellite post itself. And uh, currently we are uh, fast charging a Tesla Model S with a Chademo adapter. What we see here is the LED light we have included in the system. Uh, the blue indicates that the charging is ongoing and we see the status of charging, of course, depending on the height of the LED lights. And then if we have a particular view on the screen, we have added some features that might be of interest for uh, EV drivers. As you see, we see that the charging is ongoing. But by having a closer look at the charging, we actually get a view on the actual charging curve. And what we now see is that we have three, 36 kV of charging power in this certain case. Uh, the current is 98 amps and the voltage is 369. And this is real time. And what we also can do is that we add a feature where you can have the same view on your mobile phone. What we want to do at Campower is uh, enabling a first-class user experience and what we are going to do next is that we are going to add the charging curve function which we now see on the charger screen to the mobile phone view. And uh, of course what is the benefit for the EV driver is of course that you don't have to run to the charging post or to use a car app. If even there are cases where you don't have a car app. So what you can do is that you can have a glimpse at the charging status on the phone and uh, have the clear overview of what is going on.